Okay, YouTubers, this is January 28th. I'm down right above Pottsville, between Pottsville and St. Clair, uh, right along 61. All right. What you're looking at, well, what I'm trying to find is a tunnel that used to be here. Uh, Danville Pottsville Railroad Company was built in 1826 to open large coal reserves from the Broad Mountain in the Shenandoah and Monet Valleys. This railroad ran from Mount Carbon, which is south of Pottsville, up to Wadesville, and then to Mill Creek Gap above St. Clair. Now they used to have a wooden four and a half mile track that would come down into St. Clair and what I'm on now is the old railroad bed that used to go right by the Fairlane Village Mall. Now I'm trying to find this tunnel and it's been years since I've been here and as you can see there's some old buildings that are being torn down on this road but right up here yeah, this is the old railroad bed as you can see there's some old remnants there's some railroad ties Looks like a cement. Is that cement or rock? That's a rock, but it's cut rock. So, yeah, there's some more blocks of cement and rock. Right here, I remember years ago, there used to be part of that tunnel you could see, like the top of the facade. But I'm walking around here in the woods trying to find it. And I think they um, get away from that facade. I'll show you up here in a minute and put a more modern drain pipe in because it did fill with water now this tunnel was uh, it was taken down let me see if I can get my bearing straight here this tunnel it's right up there. I'm just looking at my maps. Yeah, this came from the St. Nicholas Breaker and Locust Summit Breakers down the Broad Mountain into St. Clair to the railroad uh, yard that used to be around here. And they closed the tunnel down in 1972 when they built the Fairlane Village Mall. But, I gotta look around to see if I can find that entrance. Now you can't get in this tunnel. It, it was abandoned and they blasted it shut to build the, the Fairlane Village Mall. Up here, I think I can show you a part of it anyway. Let's get around all the woods. Yeah, it's definitely abandoned, lots of brush to walk around. There we get down here. Yeah. yeah, they did some work on this. Like here's cinder blocks. Now this might be from up top. Up at the McDonald's parking lot is right above me. But let's see if we can find any evidence of that tunnel. Which I doubt we're going to find because the only thing that's here is that, dr that drain pipe. So I came here ooh, about 10 years ago looking at this. And... The part, top part of the tunnel you could see, but now I think this is the only part left. Of course, it's not original. But just keep looking around. I didn't bring a flashlight with me, but yeah, that went into the tunnel, and they have it drained. And of course, you see some orange water coming out, of course, and a little bit of other pollution. But yeah, this would come in, here's, you can see on your side, this is going into like a, a culvert. And up here, okay, there's some, some cement. But yeah, nothing's, nothing's left of this anymore. I want to go on the other side and see if there's anything. I'll fight through the bushes, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing here anymore. So they took it out completely. But yeah, it was neat. You see just the top of the arch. And they put screen matting in here to help 
with the erosion of rainwater. For some reason, I have a funny feeling. It might still be here, but one way to find out is go look. This is rough terrain to walk on. But, yeah, I have my notes with me about this place. But no, I don't see anything, anything anymore of that facade. Whew, it's a good hike. Oh, wait a minute, is this it? Let me just take a little walk up here. I'm walking on a 45 degree hill here. But now they they redid it for drainage purposes and safety reasons of course. I mean you could go in that tunnel but you'd be up to your waist in water. Let's get down here. Yeah it's not here anymore. If I'm not mistaken it was right in here where you can see it but no luck. Oh, sticker bushes all over the place. And they put this matting down to help with the erosion. All right, let me get up top and I'll give you a little more information about this. Yeah, I was just down in there. I just fought my way through all the sticker bushes. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, right in here was where that supposedly was. It's not here anymore. Like I said, right up there is the Fairlane Village Mall. Ooh, that's a hike. But yeah, nothing left of it. But you would have seen like a little bit, like two foot at the top of the arch. Uh, whoops. Still like fighting sticker bushes. But yeah, they pretty much did away with it. I don't see anything of it anymore. Let's get out of here right quick. No, I don't think there's anything left of it. Cool wall here where I parked. Uh, some kind of building. That's this is Tunnel Road. This is right off 61, which is right up there. Yeah, no. I don't see anything of it anymore. I said I was a couple. A good 10 years ago I came here. These are old guardrails. Nope. Nothing left of the facade. Nope. But what I want to do, I want to take Ann Street, go on the other side and show you that little area. Well, it looks like someone wrecked. The skid mark's going right into this wall. Didn't hurt the wall any. <laughs> I can imagine what the car looked like. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Remnants of an old building of some kind. And over here there's some stairs. Yeah. Not much left around here anymore. Okay. Alright. Well, give me a second. I'll get over to the other side on Ann Street and see if we can see anything. It's not much, but yeah, this is about all that's left of this tunnel. So I'll see you when I get over there. Okay, I made it up to the Fairlane Village Mall. We were just down that road. As you see the car with the headlights going down that road that way. That's Tunnel Road. That's where the tunnel was. And we're up here by the, the Fairlane Village Mall. Now, 1972, they collapsed this tunnel in order to build this mall. It wasn't used. They stopped. Uh, they stopped using the railroad and passenger trains in 1940. The Reading Railroad stopped in 1948, and then they closed the the yards, which would be where the New England Brewery plant is. And yeah. That's pretty much all you could see. You could probably walk through that. It's a nice steep ditch down there. And I don't know if you could see in the woods those cars going by. That's Ann Street. I want to head down that way and see if there's anything on the other side where the tunnel would have came out and went to Pottsville down to Nicholas Street. 
But as you can see, let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah, there's just a power line going down there that follows it. I could probably walk, but I'm not happy with the sticker bushes that have been growing here. They like to grab you, but yeah, that's pretty much all that's left of this. Now, I don't know the name of the tunnel. I'm gonna call it the St. Clair Tunnel. Let me just walk down a little bit. Let me show you. Now, this was filled in for the, the mall. Of course, you got your usual garbage. Let's walk down a little bit here just to show you this little gully that was made by the tunnel. I could probably walk the whole length of it. Yeah, why not? I have my car parked up top. But yeah, it's pretty cool to think that there used to be a tunnel here. And well now it's a ditch because they collapsed. As you fall. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to walk this. This is not too bad down here. I should have started up at the beginning and walked it, but yeah. Yeah, right, we're inside where the tunnel would have been. And it would have walked along. Not walked along, but... Uh, ran along here. Of course, there's a shopping cart, tires. Now, this takes you down to Ann Street. And that's supposedly where the exit of the, or the other end of the tunnel was and another tire and but I I'm sorry to say there's no more facade to see of the tunnel or not much anything except this depression in here which is all that's left of the tunnel because they collapsed it we got some cinder blocks uh yeah, pretty neat. Well, I did find an old pipe of some kind here, an old cast iron pipe. But uh, let's see what's down here quick. All right, hemp, it's getting dark. I don't want to be down here too long. But yeah, right up there is the Fairland Village Mall parking lot. And probably right in here, could have been where it came out. I'm not sure. Yeah, he's going down. Let's just keep walking this road away. See what we find. But yeah, not too much information about this area. So, yeah, that's where I want to go looking. Not too much about this area. And it's all like. I don't know, forgotten history, I guess you could call it. Uh, this looks like something interesting down here. Let's see if we can take a look. Uh, let's see. So I guess they put a natural gas line in here. That's why they, they must have dug it up, put a natural gas line through here. And that would be the end of the tunnel. Let's take a peek at what's up here quick before I head back. Now I want to take you up to Wadesville because I mentioned that there was a, a tunnel, the second tunnel built. Hmm, I don't know what this is. It was the second tunnel built. Now I'm guessing in the county. I don't think it says it in the country, but that doesn't seem right. Huh, of course. A TV. What are the chances of me always finding a TV? But, yeah, so that tunnel was up there somewhere. Okay, there's nothing left of it. Big old drain pipe coming down the mountain for the parking lot. And I just go across the road just to take a look through. Now, over here was another rail line that goes from St. Nicholas Street up to what used to be Wadesville. Wadesville's still there, but of course, in the domain coal mines took it over. Let's see if we cross it out. That's, if the tunnel was built when the road was in, there should see something over here. I'll go under this guardrail. There we go. That's easy. But yeah, there's not much 
over here. I don't see no, let's see. I don't see any facade, any cement. No. But down in there was the old railroad. They used to go into Pottsville, up to Wadesville, and then up to what was called the Gerard Tunnel. But, yeah, there's nothing left. It's been all, now I think this road was put in after the, after the tunnel was closed. Hold it, hold it. What have we here? I think I found something. Maybe. Ooh, gotta be careful, this is steep. You see that? That looks like cement. And let's see if I can get down there carefully. I don't want to go too far. Yeah, that's a steep drop down. But I think this might have been part of the tunnel here where I'm standing. And right over here, yeah, this is cement. Right here would probably be where the tunnel came out. I'm guessing. I'm not positive. But yeah, if there was a tunnel, it's no more. Sad to say. But I think this is about the only evidence that there used to be a tunnel here. So, all right, with that, I guess I'll have to close this video. I have to go up that yet. That's fun. And this, see, I'm holding the camera level. You can see how much of a grade I'm coming down. YouTubing's not easy. It's fun. But, alright, let me pause the video and I'll take a look at that cement thing a little bit more. Let's see what we get down there. Okay, made it down. But yeah, there was, I think this is about the only thing left of the tunnel. Is this that little cement uh, reinforcement wall. And right around in here, I don't see another one of them on the other side here. So right around here was the tunnel, the other entrance. But sad to say it's gone. And over there would have been the railroad. And this would have kept going down to Pottsville. Down there. You can see it's a nice level area up here. But unfortunately no tunnel. No facade left. No, that's the only cement. So, yeah, if you know anything about this, let me know. Put it in the comments, please. I'm always interested in the history. I've been born and raised in this area. All right. And when I get back to you, I'll show you Wadesville where that Gerard Tunnel is supposedly was. And I don't think that's another one that the, it must have been destroyed. Because the trains are going away. Tractor trailers are taking over. Just like the trains took over the canals. But there's another TV. Huh. TV's everywhere. Alright, let's check this out one more time. Yeah. Yeah, that is cool. So that has to be the only thing left of the tunnel anymore. It's all buried. Now, I'm not sure if Ann Street, which is up there, if that was in before or after the tunnel was constructed. But, okay. I'll get back to you. See you in Wadesville. Take one last look at this. Okay, I'm up here in Wadesville. This is where the supposedly the Gerard Tunnel used to be. As you can see, the road to Wadesville is closed. But if we walk up to this gate, now, they are. This is an active mine, and just want to show you this. This was Wadesville at one time. There's a little bit of Wadesville coming into play up there, up on the hill. Now, if you look. Let me zoom in a little bit. You can see the road continued over to where those houses were, but since they started strip mining, they closed this road and did a little bit of strip mining. So this is the town of Wadesville today. Not much left.
But somewhere over here, I would say over in that section, can't really tell. Probably up top there where that road is in the middle of the screen coming down the hill. And you can see some of the debris going down the mountain on the slope there. That was supposedly where this tunnel came down and they used chains and counterweighted the full cars to come up the hill as the, or I'm sorry, as the full cars went down the hill, the chain would pull the cars up the hill that were empty and it didn't use any power other than gravity. There was like a braking system to control how fast they'd go down. But this is probably the best picture I can get of this area. And as far as I can see, there is no sign of a tunnel. And if I could walk down there, I'd like to. But of course, you're not allowed to. It's mined. But pretty neat. But yeah, this was supposedly the first uh, tunnel. Well, it says built in the county or in the country, but I think it was the first railroad tunnel built in the county. Of course, second, um, the, no, the first one would have been the Monoy Tunnel, and the second one would have been the Gerard Tunnel, which would have been around here somewhere. But over time, things get torn apart, you know, properties exchange hands, and that's all you get to see of this area but pretty neat about the tunnels around Schuylkill County I'm gonna end this video here and like I said thank you for watching my videos uh, please subscribe to my channel um, and like it hit that notification button that way you get notifications when I put new videos up um, until then I'll see you at my next adventure. Have a good day. Take one last look at that. Let's move here.